Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another top 10 video. But before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. And if any of the pieces uh, mentioned in the video interests you, you can send me a message through Facebook for more details, of course. And the link will be in the description below. So roll the intro. <laughs> So this list will be based on anything uh, Spider-Man related. It will not be like the top 10 Wolverine uh, list where it focused solely on Wolverine. You should also consider checking that video out if you're looking for a Wolverine statue. Link will be somewhere here in the screen. Anyway, there's just not enough Spider-Man statue on production to focus on. But instead, we'll be focusing on anything Spider-Man related. Whether it's a villain, an ally, as long as it's uh, Spider-Man related. Oh, and I might be doing a part 2 of this video since there's just too many out there that needs to be recognized. So with that out of the way, let's start the list. At the number 10 spot is we have this Future Foundation Spider-Man. Comes with two versions to choose from, the black and of course the white one. I really love Spider-Man with simple poses like crouching or just simply standing up. This is the exception. Love the flow of Spider-Man here and doesn't also take a lot of space to display. That's one big factor for me uh, to purchase a statue. I think this is also shipping this year which is great news to all Spider-Man collectors. At number 9 is we have this American Venom. This is actually the second American Venom from this group. The other one is on a crouching and is more like a companion piece to their American Carnage. So they made a new one and this is it. Love the anatomy of Venom here. Kinda looks like he just finished a shower. Moving on to number 8 is one of those statues that I didn't like the renders but look really good when the actual prototype is revealed, especially the black one. Not sure if that was a symbiote or a negative Spider-Man. Anyway, plus this Spider-Man fits perfectly with my Avengers collection who are fighting some sentries. This is actually based from a comic cover with some modifications of course. Won't be a cool list without two of Spider-Man's greatest foe fighting each other. So at number 7, we have this Venom vs Carnage diorama. Yeah, I like the movie, which was a fail in my opinion. But this statue isn't a fail. Anyway, Scott looks pretty good for both symbiote, and the details are definitely amazing. Also sculpted by one of the greatest, Alejandro Peria. Next at number 6 is the god symbiote himself, Null. Again, this is one of those pieces that I really really want to pre-order but it was just too expensive for me. I understand the price though because of the amount of switch out it offers. But just wanted the basic form of uh, this statue. Nonetheless, the sculpt looks awesome and it's actually sculpted by a Filipino. Too bad I can't support his work, which I am a fan of. Anyway, with this Null, you probably don't need any other Null statues. It comes with everything. Down to the top 5 and at the number 5 is we have this Carnage. 
This came from my favorite Spider-Man studio. Scope looks pretty good on uh, this Carnage. Plus, it doesn't take a lot of space to display. The only downside is this is only available as kits and you do have to hire a professional painter to get it painted. Unless, of course, you want to display him without colors. And at number 4 is we have this Venom. And it's one of the better Venoms around since there's apparently a new Venom reveal every month. And that's why it's in the list. Considered pre-ordering this one but again decided to just pass. Or maybe I'll just wait and see the prototype and I would want to reconsider. Nonetheless, scope looks pretty good. I love the details for sure. Moving to number 3 is we have this Craven. I've been waiting for a while now for the full reveal and pre-order for this Craven. Not that I need it, but the scope looks awesome. And I think you would agree. But surprisingly, I passed because there were statues that went on pre-order that I do want for my existing lines, which is my priority. Uh, Thor is an example of those statues that went up on pre-order, received a lot of PMs regarding that one. Anyway, this Craven is going to be the best Craven statue license or custom, period. Next at number 2 is we have this Superior Spider-Man. Honestly, this character doesn't appear too much in the custom world or even license for that matter. I'm glad they made him and they made him perfectly. This is a great representation of Superior Spider-Man. Scott looks clean and really, really good. Also comes with two versions to choose from, but only the bases are different. And finally at number one is we have this winged venom from my favorite studio. Now now this isn't because it was produced by my favorite studio but I was actually following the scope of this statue ever since Steven uh, released it and back then it looked like this. Amazing transformation right? There's a high chance that this will be a grail kind of venom. If not then the price will truly rise especially when it's time to ship. So that's the end of my top 10 Spider-Man list. Hopefully you enjoyed it and somewhat agree with my list. If not, you can comment down below your own list of top 10 Spider-Mans or anything related to Spider-Man. Again, you can send me a message if you are interested in the pieces mentioned in the video. Facebook link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching till the end. Like and subscribe. This is Carl and see you in the next one.